Hi everyone, it's Jay at OpenText, and today I'm going to walk you through the inherited permissions model that we use in OpenText Core. Basically how you assign different collaborators, different roles or permissions levels at different levels of the folder tree or folder structure as you might know it. Uh, it's pretty straightforward, so let's get rolling. Now we're going to use our friend Wendy Kite who owns a graphic design and agency, creative agency and we're going to assume she's already logged in and you see this file up here for a client called Caddy Pet Foods and what we're going to do is along that line and this is what we would call the parent level or the top level of a folder structure or tree you might know it as we're going to go into that collaborator icon there that uh, head we're going to add her sister Arlene who does some work with Wendy She's already shared with her, so her name pops up. Now keep in mind, we're going to make that uh, collaborator permission level, rather than manager or collaborator, at the highest level, we're going to try and keep it as low as possible. Make Arlene a viewer. So this is uh, what we're going to do. Go ahead and add her, and you see at this parent level that we can change the permissions level, but we're going to leave it as a viewer just for our uh, demonstration here today. Now we're going to delve into the folder and you can see a variety of subfolders here or second level or second tier folders in the folder structure or tree called project contracts, assets, briefing files, and then a loose file here called Caddy Pet Foods contacts. So that has all the contacts for the client in it. Really quick, you'll notice at the top here that the number has increased on our collaborator ticker, if you will. We can go in and see at that parent level, Arlene is still a viewer. You could add as many uh, viewers, or sorry, collaborators as you want with different permissions levels uh, assigned to them at that parent level, but let's just keep it simple for now to give you an example. We'll just work with Arlene. So at the project contracts level, Arlene needs to do a bit more work than just viewing the file or being able to download it. Those are the permissions of a viewer. So we see here there's a couple files. We'll go back really quick. Pop that up. Because she's a viewer at this level, Arlene can actually be given additional permissions by Wendy. You notice at the subfolder level or the project contracts level, you don't really see what Arlene is assigned by, by way of permissions or a role in collaboration. So we can go ahead and just assign her at this level. Wendy needs her to be a collaborator at this level. So we're going to go ahead and add her. And you see she comes up at a collaborator at that permissions level. This is about inherited permissions. So at this level here, the parent folder, Arlene is assigned as a viewer. So by nature of inherited permissions, every subfolder and file, she will be granted viewer permissions. If she was a collaborator at this level, then consequently, every single subfolder or file that's in below Caddy Pet Foods Inc., the parent folder, then Arlene is going to have collaborator permissions. But because she's a viewer, you can see the project contract, she's now a collaborator. That gives her collaborator permissions. At cl client assets, Arlene would be simply a viewer at this level. However, if Wendy decides to give Arlene additional permissions, for example, she wants her to be a manager at this level, we can go ahead and add that. So again, at this project contracts, she's going to be Arlene, that is, is going to be a collaborator. At client assets, she's going to be a manager at that level. And overall, for everything that isn't addressed specifically, Arlene is going to be simply a viewer. So you can go up in permissions if you're sharing files. So Wendy can share files with Arlene at different levels of the folder structure by increasing the permissions level or role, if you will, in OpenText Core, but she cannot decrease them. So 
if I made, or Wendy made rather, Arlene a collaborator at the parent level, she cannot go down. She cannot make Arlene a viewer at the Caddy Pet Foods contacts list, for example, or the client assets subfolder. You can only go up. So hopefully this explains a little bit about how the inherited permissions model works. You can go down, i oh, sorry, I apologize. You can go up in uh, permissions levels and roles based on the hierarchy or the folder structure, but you cannot go down. So that's about it for the inherited permissions model. Again, a word of advice or a tip, if you will, for best practices, share the lowest level permissions level or role in Open Text Core at the highest level of your folder structure. So at the parent folder, assign the lowest level or lowest role and then work your way up if need be uh, for subfolders or loose files that you put in underneath that parent folder. I hope this has been helpful and if you need more walkthrough videos or would like to see more about Open Text Core, visit us at our YouTube channel, uh, which the address is right there. That's it for me, and have a great day.